Brooklyn. Happy Thursday. Welcome back to Homeschool with Carly. Today we are going to make quite the explosion. We are going to make a homemade volcano. So for this experiment, you only need a couple of supplies. The first being baking soda. Next, you will need some white vinegar. some assorted food coloring, a glass cup, a bowl, and a simple shopping plastic bag. But you can also substitute for plastic wrap or you can even use aluminum foil. So let's get started making our explosion. So first you want to grab that bowl and place it in front of you. Next, you're going to grab that cup and place it directly inside the bowl. All right, next you're going to take that plastic bag and you're going to shove it into the cup. So what I like to do is reform that bag, okay? So we have the handles and the ends. So you're going to grab that end of the plastic bag opposite the handles and place it inside the cup, okay? And now you're going to open that plastic bag, all right? So we have a nice little hole in the center, right? And the handles are now outside, okay? So you're going to want to mold it, make it look real nice, and make sure that the bottom of the bag isn't too far at the bottom of the glass. So I'm going to pull it up a little bit. All right, so it's about halfway. So right here is my glass cup. My glass cup is this tall, and I have the center, right, is sitting about halfway on the glass, okay? So let's get this thing ready to explode, all right? All right, first step. We want our baking soda, okay? So you're gonna wanna pour I would say a good amount directly inside this plastic bag. So you really can't go wrong with how much you do, but you can do two tablespoons or you can just go by eye. The more that you put of this, the bigger the explosion, okay? So I'm gonna just pour a good amount inside this plastic bag. So I would say that I have a good pile of it in there. Okay, so I would say there's a nice pile about this high, okay, right inside my bag. Next, you're going to, if you want colors, take a color from here, right? I'm going to pick the green one because it's already opened, okay? And you're going to place a couple of dots directly on top of that baking soda that you put in there. Don't worry, it won't explode yet, okay? So I'm going to place a couple of dots, all right, and now is the fun part. We are going to make an explosion, and as you can see, this really isn't that difficult. Of course, my volcano could look a little prettier, but when you're home and you're in quarantine and you don't have many supplies, you work with what you've got. All right, so inside this cup is a plastic bag. And then inside the plastic bag, we have baking soda, and then we have a couple of drops of food coloring. Now you're gonna wanna grab that tub of vinegar because you're about to get a big explosion, okay? So make sure you have a good sized bowl that will capture the explosion because if you just have this cup sitting directly on top of your table or countertop, you are going to have a big mess that you will just have to clean up later. Okay, so as I said with the baking soda, there's not really a measurement that you have to follow. The more you put of each, the bigger the explosion. Your choice, okay? And you don't need the food coloring, but you'll see it makes a really cool looking explosion. So let's get to pouring. So I got my vinegar and I'm going to start pouring it inside my volcano. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think it's going to be a big poof in the air? Do you think it's going to bubble out? Let's find out. 
All right. Wow! See what I mean? The green makes for a really cool explosion. So, there you have it. A really awesome volcano that was so easy to make. But, why, when I put the vinegar with the baking soda and the food coloring, does this all happen? Well, this vinegar is made up of its own molecules. And the baking soda is made up of its own molecules, right? But when you combine the two, what ends up happening is a reaction, right? And that reaction is something that we can see, which is that explosion. So what happens is when the vinegar is placed inside with the baking soda, there is a reaction. And that reaction is two chemicals combining, right? And when they combine, they release a gas. And that gas is known as carbon dioxide. We know that when we breathe in, we take in oxygen. But when we breathe out, that is reversed into carbon dioxide. Now, gas expands. So, that is why you are able to see this reaction occur, and you have a volcano that explodes. And that is because of chemical reactions. Isn't science amazing? Well, I really hope that you like this volcano and make sure you do it safely and use a nice good bowl. Well, I will see all of you on Exercise Friday. Get those arms ready. Bye!